Taylor Swift sets Billboard records. American singer songwriter Taylor Swift is on another record setting spree, and she has become the first living recording artist to have seven albums charting in the top 40 of the Billboard 200 at the same time. According to Billboard, Taylor Swift's seven albums are currently charting for the week of April 1st, and in addition to that date, her newest album, Midnight, is now ranked third on the chart. Coming in behind Midnight, which peaked at number one spot after its October release, is Taylor Swift's 2019 album Lover at number 13, while Folklore and 1989 have landed at 13 and 14 spots, respectively. In 22nd place is the 2021 recording of a 2012 record Lover, and her most recent album's reputation and evermore currently standing at number 26 and 31. The Heatmaker also has two albums ranked under the previous seven, with Fearless, Taylor's version, and Speak Now landing at number 52 and 69. Just so you know, Taylor Swift is the second artist and the first living individual to have seven albums in the top 40 all at once, with the first being Whitney Houston, who achieved the same level of success following her death in 2012. Ah, Omar. Taylor Swift, like she's just winning awards, creating new records, she's, she's doing a whole lot and it's not easy mm -hmm. to have seven albums in Billboard 200, 200 album chart at the same time. This is a big feat and uh, I just want to say congratulations to her. She's been putting in the work for a long time, so many times she either gets insulted by other artists or they <laughs> troll her and she's been through so much but she still comes out strong and brave and She's still breaking boundaries. Are you talking about power. Kanye West? <laughs> yes, I'm talking about Ye. He gave her the Ye moment so many sure times. That yes, about I'm talking about him and other people. I, 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 I think the Lost Swift situation, I think it's one of those situations whereby um, you go to church and be grateful and give testimony. Mm -hmm. I can remember Scooter Brown who discovered Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yeah, also managed her. And one ah. thing happened one way or the other. Yeah. Scooter Brown told her that, you know, all your records, yeah. all your masters, one way or the other, you must have signed something. You do not own them. At mm. all. So that's ah. totally wrecked Taylor Swift, that all your songs, all your albums are not your property, life but work. mine. Hey. So what Taylor Swift now decided to do is, you know what? After all the back and forth, lawsuits here and there, she just said, you know what? Just go. I will start afresh again. And that's why she did Folklore. Yeah, I think Folklore, then Midnight. And look at yeah. all the madness Folklore is doing right now. Even at the I, um, Midnight 2, at the IAT Awards, she winning. She even said it in, during her speech, her speech that she yeah. cannot believe she can still have a radio hit. That's just a cause for celebration and testimony. And she, seven albums, yeah, even though Scooter Brown, I didn't get most of the albums. Yeah. But the, the new ones that nah, she has nah. right now, that's just even massive on its own. Congratulations to her. What, who are our fans? Ha. See, you, okay. I don't even want to go there. They don't shout. Because exactly. I do, they do very quiet. All they just do is stream, stream, Just stream, bring stream, your album. Stream. We got you. It's the same way with Maria Carey. She has fans. They mm -hmm. just stream, stream, stream. There are people like that. They're just quiet. But when they drop, the fans go in. Go yeah, in. so uh, people who have low key <laughs> fans, they should always be grateful because they don't know what the Lord has done for them. Yeah, at they all. don't they don't put inside that conversation at of fighting, all, fighting, fighting. No oh, is Maoga, drop something. May we yeah. we there for you. <laughs>